Now let's do another example. In this case, I will create another. I have created another users call merge user two, and in this case, the primary SMTP address is same as the cloud identity, but the UPN username part will be different. This is what I explained earlier. That what will happen if this is a scenario. So let's see practically. So in our cloud, we have this identity called merge user two, as you can see. It's a cloud-based identity, means this user account is created in cloud, its username is merge.user2 at idsense.net, and some Office 365 license is assigned to this user for SharePoint and Office on the web and Microsoft Teams. No exchange online. This user, and also I have an on-premise user with the same uh, name, merge user 2 and and I will change and, and as you can see it's um, primary email address is also merge user 2 at itsense.net because it has on-prem mailbox in my environment so what if if I sync this user keep this in mind this user has the same uh, primary email address as the login name of a cloud-based user. However, this user UPN is different. Domain part is fine at itsense.net, but the username is MU2. So what will happen if I merge, uh, if I sync this? Will account get merged? Let's see. So if I move it to the test OU, and go to my AAD Connect server and run Delta. We need to wait just a few minutes to see that will this user get merged or another user will be created. If you remember what I told you previously, you know the answer already. So it will take a while. So what I will do, I will pause this video and come back when it's done. Okay, so replication is finished. And as you can see, as I told you, a new user account has been created instead of merge. And it's called mu2 at itsense.net and it is synced from on-premise. See, even this user primary SMTP address was same as merge.user2 at itsense.net. Uh, merge did not happen, right? Same as this uh, this cloud identity username merge.user2 at itsense.net. And this guy email address is merge.user2 at itsense.net, right? But merge did not happen. Instead, a new account has been created for this user with mu2 at itsense.net. Why? Because UPN of this user is mu2 at itsense.net, at on-premise AD. And if we check the on-premise AD, we will know that this user, although his email address is merge.user2 at itsense.net, UPN is mu2 at itsense.net. So see, it's not it's having a primary SMTP address. It's just not enough if you want to merge accounts. So how to fix this now? Well, again, as I said earlier, you have to take this user mu2 out of replication scope, like take it out, wait for it until it gets, you know, out from the replication and then fix the UPN and sync it again. If I go to this user like here and try to change the username part, you see I cannot edit this part because it's getting sync. I can change the domain name though but not this username part. 
So this is the point that I have explained earlier and I have shown you in the demo. Okay. 